is a quiet Sunday and I don't have a lot of plans. I'm just sitting on my couch right now. That is a mess. I don't even want to talk about it. I have so much yarn that I'm trying to clean up and put away. And Wolfred's calling a crazy ruckus over there. You look suspicious. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? You need to get off. I need to put this away. Come on. Stop biting my cables. Oh no. Ah! How did that happen? What you just saw right there was my raglith hoodie. Probably by the time you're seeing this knit vlog right now, that knit vlog will already be up, so check it out if you're interested. I let it out to show you guys my progress, and then Wilfred decides to sit on it, and yeah. Anyway, this vlog though is for the Pearl Cardigan Light, and I just want to show you guys my progress. This is insane. It's so pretty, don't get me wrong. I love knitting on lighter yarn and also like thinner needles, I think it's so freaking pretty. I know it'll be worth it, but it just takes a really long time. Today's Sunday. I don't really have any plans. It's actually like 5 p.m. already. I woke up so late today. I woke up at 12, which is so rare for me. I never wake up that late. I think I've just been really tired from going on my vacation, which sounds so privileged. Like, what do you mean you're tired from your vacation? But yeah, I've just been really tired from being jet lagged and also just not sleeping enough when I'm on vacation. So I felt like today I just really needed to catch up on sleep. On top of that, I've been sleeping really late. I've been really addicted to this K-drama called Our Beloved Summer. Let me know if you watched it because I'm hooked, okay? I'm hooked. I love the main characters. I love the chemistry between them. So I've just been watching that last night and I slept really late. And of course, I was also knitting on this. I'm going to continue what I've been doing, which is like just watching K-drama and knitting. And we'll see how the night ends. So it's just going to be me, the TV, our beloved summer and pearl cardigan light. That's it. That's gonna be um, my plans for the rest of the night. This is day one progress of the cardigan, which is basically nothing. It also keeps curling back up on itself, so it really looks like I didn't do anything at all. Oh my god. This is definitely at least an hour and a half of work. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Wilfred. Hello. Wait, you have yarn. <laughs> What is this? Why are you in this position? How is this comfortable? Your tail is behind my back. So I'm sticking up his butt like that. My yarn is stuck between his tail. Look at that. Hello, I feel like we haven't talked in a while. There's like a lot of blue light going on and I can see it on my screen, which looks crazy. I'm trying to turn everything off right now, but it's dark outside and I typically like to film when it's bright outside or during the day because I think it just looks a lot better, but right now it just looks so blue from the blue light. Okay, anyway, also my hair. Okay, let's not talk about that. I came on here to talk to you guys about my pearl cardigan progress and where I'm at so it took me about let's see when did I start on this I started last mm, Saturday or Sunday I either started Saturday or Sunday I don't remember so it's been about just under a week maybe like a week minus one day and I'm officially done all the raglan increases which is amazing because I don't like to do increases <laughs> not that I hate increasing it's just I don't like counting like counting has always been such a struggle for me because I always lose count and then like my head this thing right here not very clear okay lots going on in there and counting is just one of the frustrating things that I don't like to do anyway <laughs> so finish all the raglan very happy with how it looks it looks really pretty I like the color and I think this size is good for me although it looks really weird right now like girl what are you doing 
<laughs> it looks really weird, but you guys get the point, okay? You guys get the point. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. It's just, it's on like a needle, so it looks really weird, but it'll fit. Now we're working on separating for sleeves, which I love this part because then now I can just focus on the body and get that done. But I'm gonna follow the same process that I normally do, which is separate for sleeves, knit the body up until this ball of yarn is done, and once this ball of yarn is done, move on to the sleeves, then come back to the body. I find that this kind of changes it up a little bit and makes things more interesting and you're not just feeling like you're on body island so yeah i'm gonna do that i'll try it on once i get the sleeve split and i knit a little bit of the body just so i have like something to work off of also i'm in front of my computer right now because i am actually working on uploading my newest podcast it's actually podcast episode 7 by the time you're watching this video it has to be up already it's just a podcast where i talk to you guys about the most recent trip i went on it was a lot of fun and we just talk about whips fo's yarn ack or any type of acquisition whatever i purchased in this podcast i talked a lot about my souvenirs and yeah it was just a, a pretty fun catch up so check it out if you are interested and if you guys haven't watched my podcast before it's just a nice place where we kind of hang out and we update each other on where we're at so yeah go check it out if you haven't already i just uploaded my newest video it's all ready and scheduled for tomorrow's upload i upload every saturday so i always make sure that I have the upload ready for Saturdays, every other Saturday. I'm just counting the amount of stitches that I have right now. I count like every two rows just to make sure I have the right stitch count because I'm always worried that I'll miss something and then I have to frog it like five rows back. So I always make it a habit of counting it regularly just so if I do miss something or miss an increase, I can catch it early and fix it. And now Wilfred is sitting on my cardigan. Like, he's, he's actually just on it now. He was actually sitting behind me on my chair earlier, but he saw me messing with this and now he's sitting on it. Stop, stop, stop. You're you're pressing keys on my keyboard right now. Okay. And uh, this is exactly why I have to be careful with him on my keyboard. <laughs> All right, back to you. Oh, my laptop is on again because he keeps touching it. All right, let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20. Wilfred, can you stop turning on my computer, please? I have one sleeve on the tubes right now, stitches are being held. Now I'm gonna continue with the body. Good morning. It is the next day and I'm covering my mouth because I'm talking really weird. I went to the dentist, I had two fillings, they froze my upper right lip and now when I talk it's really weird. I don't know if you guys want to see it or like, I don't even know if I want to show it to you guys. But yeah, I'm, let's see. I'm just talking without my right side right now. So I'm gonna be like moving along my left side, but my right side is like completely numb. But I wanted to show you guys where I'm at. Yesterday I split for the sleeves and it's looking more and more like a cardigan. So I'm very excited about that. I actually started a little bit on the sleeves. I feel like I'm just gonna rip it out because I wanna try this on and show you guys what it looks like. I started on the sleeves forgetting that I haven't had a chance to show you guys yet. So my bad. We're gonna have to put these back on the tube. Last night I was watching our beloved summer while I was knitting on this and I thought that it would take me a while to use up the rest of the ball but actually it was pretty fast. It took about an episode of the show. Have you guys watched the show? Because I think it's pretty good but I feel like things are not as dramatic as the other Korean dramas which is completely fine because sometimes I feel like other Korean dramas are too dramatic but this time around I'm like Everything feels so calm. Like I'm just waiting for Truck-Kun to arrive or like Cancer-Kun. So yeah, cause Korean dramas usually always have one of those things to get you to cry, right? Ah! My thing came out without, okay, hold on. I need, I need to come back. I, you see some of these stitches, not on hold. I have it on the tubes now and I'm trying it on. This is what it looks like. I've only done a few rows of the body. I did this all last night while watching 
our beloved summer so this little piece was probably about an hour of knitting and the front always looks so weird when you first finish the yoke I do see that it looks a little odd <laughs> but we'll see and then the back how's it look? does it look okay? I can't tell and now I'm going to just take a little break on the body and work on the sleeves. Once I finish sleeves, then I'll continue on the body and then do ribbing and button band. So, <laughs> it's still numb. Um, I'll probably be gone in like two to three hours, but I'm starting to feel my nose again, but I still can't feel like the inside of my mouth. It's kind of impacting the inside of my lip, and that's why I'm talking like this, but. And the next clip, I'll be fine, so. I'm trying on the cardigan right now. There's about like an inch of the body. I already split for sleeves. And I was working on this sleeve, which looks really nice actually. I still have to decrease on the sleeve, so I have a few more rows to go and also another 10 centimeters of ribbing. So I think the length should be good. It's really pretty. Oh my god, I love this. So cute. Can't wait to be done. And of course, this is my yarn bag, so I have to bring it with me. I haven't updated you guys in a while, but here is the pearl cardigan. I've just been really, really busy recently, so I'm really sorry about not updating you guys more often. So much has been going on in life, but you know what? That's life. Things happen anyway. Um, I have both sleeves done up to the cuff. I still have to do the cuffs, but all the decreases are done. And I just kind of started on the body because I needed 3.5 millimeter needles and I didn't have any that are shorties and I personally really like shorties when doing sleeves so I had to wait for these to come in from Aliexpress I love these needles, I use them for everything I have them in almost every size they're 25 centimeters long including the needle so they are perfect for sleeves I still have the ball of yarn connected to both sleeves because I haven't done the cuffs yet I'm gonna try to do the cuffs tomorrow so I can finish this off and I don't have these things just hang here because they're starting to get a little annoying especially when I'm knitting on the train and I don't have that much space hopefully I can get the cuffs done this week and actually it's due next week so hopefully I can <laughs> meet the deadline but I am a little worried because I still have to do the body the ribbing the two cuffs and then also the button band the button band should take me one day I think the cuffs each should take me one day so that's one two three days it's the body and the ribbing that takes me a little bit longer so if i give myself like five days or a week to do the body and then three days to do two cuffs and the button band i think that might work out i just might not be able to block it in time but we'll see anyway i'm gonna show you guys these needles because they are so amazing here they are there are the perfect length for a cuff. I'm just gonna use these and work on the ribbing. And I hopefully will catch you guys up more frequently, but we'll see. It's been very crazy for me recently. Just life has been crazy, so yeah. I will talk to you when I talk to you. Hello! How do we like it? My cardigan. It feels like a cropped cardigan right now, which is kinda kinda cool actually. I haven't worn a cropped cardigan in so long since like maybe in elementary school. Here's a better look at it. I'm just trying it on. All I'm missing right now is the ribbing and the button band. Sleeves look so freaking good. I love the way the sleeves look. I love the way the decreases are written. I think it looks perfect. It's not too tight or too loose around my arms. Like I don't know how Ruby does it, but her sleeves look amazing all the time. And it's the perfect length as well. And I'll show you the back as well. I do think this is rolling up a little bit. It's not actually that short, but yeah. 
today is September. Oh wait, not September, it's October. Oh my god, it's October 5th. This is due in six days, October 11th. So I am going to hardcore knit the ribbing and then hopefully I can finish the button band in about two days. So yeah, oh my god, I have so much knitting to do. I just realized that it's already October 5th. Like what the heck, where did the time go? All right, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> I'm trying this on right now and it looks a little weird because I'm in the middle of picking up stitches so the <laughs> this button band area looks really weird and scrunched up I don't know I don't know what this is even doing for us right now because <laughs> it looks really weird anyway I just finished the ribbing as you can see the ribbing looks really long in comparison to the rest of the body so I don't know how this is going to look when it's completely done. I'm assuming it's going to stretch a little bit when I block it because this is super wash and super wash typically does stretch and relax a little bit. I'll show you the back so you know what it looks like. The ribbing does look very long so I'm not really sure if I did anything wrong there. Otherwise, yeah, this is where we're at so far. Good morning. It is fall and it is cold and that's why I'm wearing this big fluffy red thing or pink slash orange coral thing. <laughs> um, I am working on the button band for the pearl cardigan light. I'm not even half done yet but I did do all the buttonholes. I'm just gonna finish this row before I show you guys. This is knitted on 3.25 needles and the only 3.25 needles that I own are part of my interchangeable kit. These are the cables that I've kind of talked about before where I said that the cable right here where it connects to the metal part breaks and it's a little bit frustrating especially if you're knitting something and then you lose stitches because the cable fell off but I'm just trying to be very gentle with this set I can kind of already feel like this is losing its strength the other side because this is an interchangeable needle I didn't want to connect it to the cable because I had a feeling it was gonna break so I took off the needle but the problem is this is really short and kind of annoying to knit with I'm essentially knitting it with just the needle tip and then also the other half is connected to a needle so it's a little bit weird anyway the buttonholes look great I mean they're kind of done the same way as you would do any other buttonholes so no issues there. These are pretty small. They're like about maybe a little bit over a centimeter. I'm just gonna use these tiny buttons that I got from Alaska, which is perfect because they're green and I feel like they would go really well with this. This is what it looks like. This is the back. It looks really pretty. It's green. I felt like it would look really nice with this yarn, so I feel like that. I'm just gonna keep knitting this and hopefully I finish before the deadline. The deadline is actually tomorrow, but I'm still knitting the button band. I definitely need a little bit more for it to block and dry, but I should be able to finish knitting by tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see. Today is a day where this cardigan is due, but I'm not done. I am so freaking close. Like I've got the double knitted button band done on the neck and also on the right hand side where all the button holes are. So we are so close, honestly guys. Majority of this is done. I already have like the buttons position kind of marked down. I literally only have like 15 centimeters or so left, like maybe even just 10 centimeters. I don't even know, but I'm so close to being done i think i need like two more hours and then this will be completed and then i just have to block it and take pictures i'm just gonna focus on this and hopefully i can get it done today because i well i have to get it done today because today is the due date i've never 
cut it this close for a test knit. I usually finish it like two, three days in advance, but it's just been really busy in life and everything has been going on at the same time. So yeah, I'm a little bit late with this test knit, but at least I can get the knitting done by the deadline and get some FOs pictures sent to Rui. So yeah, this is where I'm at. Hopefully I'll be done in a couple of hours or so. Here is the cardigan. Basically all done. Actually, I still have to weave in some ends. Let's just ignore that for now. We don't want to see them. And I also need to sew on the buttons. Just some finishing touches that I still need to do. Otherwise, it looks really nice. I definitely need to block this so it looks better, like neater. I actually really like using these stitch markers to mark down where I want to put the button later. And then I just basically button the stitch marker to see if the placement is good and so far it looks okay. I like to do this because it's just easy to count the stitches before you actually knit the button band so that you know both sides it's completely even. If I don't do this, I have a lot of trouble figuring out where to sew in the buttons on the other end. So doing this just really saves me some time and an extra step. I have all these buttons and I'm trying to figure out which one to use. Originally I wanted to use these ones but I guess they're not exactly what I want. I also have these ones right here which I think would still fit over the buttonholes or I can go for these cute flowery ones but I think I want to save these for something else. Alternatively, I also have these pretty flower buttons which would be a really interesting pop of color actually or these yellow ones which could work, I'm not really sure and the pink ones I think don't go well with this at all. But right now, I think we're kind of deciding between these ones that I originally had planned. The flower, or I think that's it, or these ones, I guess. Mm -hmm. These are vintage buttons. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a little bit later in the day now, and the cardigan is done. Other than the buttons because I can't really figure out which buttons I want to use. Originally I wanted to use these green buttons that I got from Alaska. I put up a poll on my Instagram to ask you guys which buttons you think I should use and I think the yellow ones are kind of winning right now. So not the <laughs> daisy but the yellow ones here. A lot of people are saying that this looks the best with this yarn. So I'm not really sure. I also have these vintage ones that I can choose. Maybe I'll go with the yellow one or maybe I'll go buy new buttons. Haven't decided yet. It is Friday, so that means tomorrow I am free. I have the time to go look for buttons. I moved the camera down a little bit, but this is what the cardigan looks like so far. This is pre-blocked, so the sleeves feel really good. It's like the perfect length. The body feels really tight, so I'm hoping that it'll block out and be a little bit looser. But it's definitely the ribbing that's kind of pulling it in right now. I'm kind of worried it won't even button. I'm sure it will. Yeah. It just looks really tight, which is not what I expected. Hopefully it'll grow because it is super wash. But this is what it looks like on the side. And the back. I've been hearing about putting knits in the spin cycle to try to get it to dry faster. I'm thinking I might do that. I am a little worried that it's going to damage the knit, but I do need this to dry faster or I can put a fan on it. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations on how to block your knit so that it dries faster, leave it down below. I'm doing something new where I am washing this how I normally do, like I block it in a bucket with my wool wash. Then afterwards, I'm putting it in the spin cycle to get rid of the extra water instead of doing the towel method. I've never done this before and I was a little bit worried, but I heard from a friend that it works well. So I put it in this little laundry bag. It's like a mesh bag just to protect it a little bit and then I put it on a spin cycle on normal, which is basically the lowest spin setting and I think it came out okay. It's pretty dry. It's decently dry. Pretty happy with it. I definitely think it'll dry in a day. I just want to show you guys how silly it looks right now. It's ginormous. Like these sleeves. Oh my god. I can't believe it grew this much. Oh god. 
hopefully it will shrink after it dries but we'll find out tomorrow with my experience this yarn does actually shrink back a little bit once it dries so it won't be this insanely large i don't think i will have to stretch this at all because it's definitely way bigger than the measurements that the pattern has so i'm thinking i'm just gonna leave it on the mat and let it dry naturally on its own and we'll just end up with whatever measurements it gives us oh yeah and i left these on because i still can't figure out which buttons to use so right now stitch markers are my buttons we are now blocking this i learned this online i don't remember who posted a reel on this somebody posted a reel on this but they said just use rulers and that will straighten out the sides and honestly genius and i'm gonna use this method for everything going forward <laughs> there it is i'm no longer using pins because if you don't have those like block pins will give you like a little wavy edge which i don't really like hopefully this works i'm gonna stick the ruler in a little bit higher so yeah it's gonna be completely flat there we go the only thing i pinned was like this section because i think the button band always looks a little weird but anyway we will uh come back tomorrow and see how it ends up and if it stays <laughs> this big or if it'll shrink i'm pretty sure it'll shrink just i don't know how much so bye oh my god you see me hi hello <laughs> Bye. It is the next day now and this has been sitting here for about 10 hours maybe or 11 hours. It is primarily dry like the top part is dry but the bottom is not. I might actually flip it the other way to let the bottom dry. Same thing with the body <laughs> as the sleeves. The top is dry but the bottom is not. Hey 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 we cannot be itching ourselves here. Oh my god you're gonna leave fur everywhere. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Why are you like this? Hmm? Very like this. You hit me and then you go lick yourself? Come on. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> anyway, I need to flip this around so that I can dry the other side. First, I need to get the cat off, which I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. The ruler method has worked really well. I cut the ruler in place with these little pins here so that it wouldn't kind of shrink back along with the ribbing. And same with this side. And it seems to have worked really well. The sides are now flat and it looks really great. Can you get it off, please? I'm trying to show people how I block this. <laughs> you could be cleaning yourself somewhere else. How about your bed? Like over there, your bed's right there. Hmm? He finally got off. Let's flip this and dry the other side. Wilfred! Look at his face! Wilfred! Oh yeah, he hurt himself. I brought him to the vet and he kept trying to get out of the carrier and he was using his nose to push the door open and he scratched himself. Mm -hmm. Wilfred, would you like to explain why you did that? Okay, 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 okay. Can you explain to people how you hurt your nose? <laughs> it's like a little scab here now. He does this every time. He uses his nose to like push things open. So he's gotten scratches on his nose before. <laughs> and it's usually because he's in a carrier and he's trying to get out. But nothing we can do. The vet said it's fine. I mean, what can we do, right, Wilfred? Hmm? He hates getting in the car and getting in carriers. So this guy will not go in a carrier. Even the vet said the cats that she usually sees are very good and they'll get in the carrier really easily. But this one... He refuses to go in. He will not let you put him in a carrier. It's honestly a really tough task. Right? Right, Mr. Wilfred? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Can we not right now? Good thing with knits, you can kind of just stretch it back in shape. Everything else looks okay, though. Okay, well, I guess uh, Project Flip This Over did not work out. We will have to come back.
How did you guys like the final results of the cardigan? I personally love it. One of my favorite cardigans ever and I'm just so proud of it. I want to make another one but in a more oversized look so I might make it in a medium using the same yarn because it just feels so good and so smooth it doesn't itch me at all or anything it is baby yarn i know Rui used a cashmere yarn i just didn't really have the money for it at this moment this yarn is a lot more affordable and i can get it locally so i don't have to get it shipped or anything like that so that's why i tend to opt for this yarn and i think it looks really great if i do like a third pearl cardigan vlog would you guys still watch i don't know this is my second pearl cardigan already so if i do another one am i just like doing too much <laughs> anyway this is kind of me wrapping up how i felt about this cardigan and some things that i feel like maybe i would have changed if i were to knit it again number one being i definitely think i knitted the stock knit a little bit shorter than what the pattern has even though i measured it it was matching the pattern i think when i was measuring it i stretched the stock knit portion a little bit so after i blocked it and everything the stock knit portion was about two centimeters too short right now the ribbing looks a little bit long in comparison to the stock knit i feel like i could fix it by either shortening the ribbing or lengthening the stock knit portion but i don't know if i want to redo that for this cardigan and then the sleeves i wouldn't even call them long to be honest with you because i personally really like sleeves that kind of hit here to me it's very cozy and i feel like i can wear it out in the winter time and i feel very safe i don't know if that's a thing for you guys too so i don't think they're long but some people might find them long because if they sit up like this it will build along the bottom here but i think that's part of the pearl cardigan style because if you look at Rui and how she wears it she also has a little bit of sleeve kind of piling up on the bottom and i just think that is how it's supposed to look so keep that in mind but if you want shorter sleeves then definitely adjust the sleeve length for that the button band was very satisfying to knit. Look how pretty this looks. The one thing I might do is move the button down a little bit because I don't know I think it's a preference thing but I feel like maybe if the button was a little bit lower it would give it more of a casual look. These buttons are buttons that I got at Fabricland. These are actually the same buttons I bought for the Ribka pouch. Those ones were a tiny bit smaller they were like nine millimeters. These ones are 11 millimeters but I think if you were to buy buttons for this cardigan it would go up to like 12 to 13 millimeters or maybe even up to like 15 millimeters but of course you can always like make the button holes bigger if you want a bigger button there's an option for that too in the pattern one thing i tried new this time around was after i blocked it i threw it in the washing machine and i put it on one spin cycle i put it on normal because i was really scared it would ruin the cardigan but for this cardigan and this specific yarn i had no issues at all definitely put it into a laundry mesh bag because that will keep it safer but yeah i tried that for the first time and it actually sped up my blocking time by like one day so i was very happy about that that is something i will be trying again for my next project depending on which project project it is. I think I'd be too scared of its lace but for something like this I feel like it's pretty durable it should be fine and on top of that if you're putting in a mesh bag there shouldn't be any issues. I do want to compare the button band for this compared to like the double knitted arm edges for my camisole number five. You guys know I was complaining a lot about my camisole number five double knitted armholes and look this yarn is completely different. I did not knit it any differently than how I did the camisole number five. It was literally the same thing, but the double knitted button band here looks so much better and so much neater. Like, look at this. This is so clean. It looks so neat and so pretty. I personally really like how this yarn knits up and I think everything looks really good. I think that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in my knit vlogs, definitely check out some of the other ones that I've posted. The most recent one I posted was the Ribka pouch. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. And I'll be posting more knit vlogs soon. I also like to upload knitting podcasts once a month to talk about my whips, FOs, any like knit acquisitions like hauls and stuff like that and my knitting plans so if you're interested in knowing what I'm knitting what I've recently finished and just like having a chat about what we're up to then definitely check out some of my knitting podcast or follow me on Instagram if you want more frequent updates from me all right that's it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye